Okay, we are recording. We are team shine on, right? <laughs> um, okay, so the other day I posted this, and it's probably going to be backwards on here, but I posted this um, graphic that I made up, Formula for Success. Um, and I kind of hope that a lot of you like save the image or whatever um, so that you can, and that's you know, for you to kind of just have sort of a, um, as a reference point, okay? So um, remember why you are doing this. The reason, you know, remembering why you signed up um, is huge. Yeah. Um, it can, you know, it can, like when you lose sight of why you joined up, you, you like start questioning everything, you stop posting, you stop talking about it, you stop, stop sharing about it, and then, your business dwindles and then you're like, see, it didn't work anyways. <laughs> but it's because you stopped, you lost sight of your perspective. Does that make sense? Um, so I highly suggest, and um, I kind of wanted to tell you guys, uh, and I'm sure you guys all saw my post, that um, Kelly actually had us um, write down our whys. And I think I actually have it up here, but I don't know exactly where it is. I think it's like kind of a bunch of stuff, but um, she had us write down her why um, and post it somewhere, like post it up on the wall or wherever, um, just so that we can always have in our minds, like, this is why I joined. These are the reasons I joined. And one of those reasons was family vacation. Okay. Um, and it was, it was actually the very first thing. I'm like, I want to go on more family vacations. I want to take my, my family to different places. Um, I want to, I want to go places with my kids and, you know, show them new and fun things. Okay. So, um, that was, that was the first thing on my, on my list of whys. And, um, a couple weeks ago, I actually paid for an entire vacation. Swanky Airbnb. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this Airbnb. Like it's got, it's pretty dang sweet. Um, it's got this really awesome like pool and hot tub area. Um, there's two bedrooms, you know, it's a swanky setup here, you know, it's a, it's a cool Airbnb. Um, Airbnb and then Universal Studios tickets. We're going to California, Universal Studios. Um, so my kids have never been to Universal Studios. My husband and I were able to go uh, last year. Um, just on a couple's trip and we, he won tickets, um, actually. And then the second time we went, um, we, because we loved it so much the first time when we won tickets, we we're like, let's go back. And it was super fun. And, but we were only able to get away as a couple to do that because of school. Um, my kids do my, especially my daughter who is in eighth grade hates to miss school because she falls behind and then it's just horrible trying to get, um, caught back up and um my cat just joined us <laughs> he's a sweet lover um anyways so i i've been really wanting like we are big potter potter fans okay so i've really been wanting to take our kids to harry potter world um i want them to try real butter beer and all this stuff um so i I looked at, you know, all of my savings and stuff that I've had from Color Street and I'm like, dude, we could do this. I, I've got enough here. You know, I started researching everything. And so, boom, I was like, that's it. I'm doing it. I'm buying the tickets. You know, I'm buying, the, you know, I'm renting an Airbnb and let's do this. You know, so we we're, that's what we're doing for spring break this year. I'm super excited. And a lot of that I attribute to the fact that I had my why up on my wall. It's downstairs in my office, but <laughs> I have a second one up here to, to every now and then. Hey, Laura, you're, you're muted. <laughs> um, I don't know. Are you muted? Still can't hear you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... I highly suggest writing your why down on your walls and, and or, or even, you know, have it as, as your backdrop, you know, uh, your lock screen or something. Um, I sometimes do this. I will, 
Okay, forget that. Go away. <laughs> ah, whatever. I have like, um, I'll do, I'll do like messages to myself on my lock screen. Um, and it, this one says, I am my own. It means I am my own responsibility. Um, I am, you know, because I don't have to, um, I don't have to uh, answer to anybody, basically. Um, I'm trying to help myself to um, remember that, you know, I, I do things for me and, and not for anybody else. <laughs> so this is my way of seeing, of, of getting that. But um, you can do that. You can put your whys on your thing, you, uh, on your lock screen. You can put it on your vision board. Um, honestly, mine is just cat tail, cat butt. <laughs> um, mine is just, you know, I wrote on a, on a lined piece of paper, I said, my why. And then I listed four or five different things, okay? And one of those things was for me. That was my why, just to do something for me. And this is, I am my own. I, I, I answer to myself, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Um, but, uh, so that was one thing about the um, the formula for success is remember why you're doing this. Um, the second thing, and I tried to make it a different color so it stand out in font, um, is be consistent. And this is huge. Like if you, if you're not posting, if you're not talking about it, if you're not wearing the nails, um, people are not going to know about it. They're not going to know to ask you about it. They're not going to know to, um, you know, they're not going to, they're not going to remember, oh yeah, you're the nail girl, you know, <laughs> like I have absolutely, so it was, it was actually kind of funny because I, I did try to sell, um, another product before with direct sales. It was a major flop. Um, and it wasn't because, um, I, well, I just, it wasn't a good fit really. Um, I was wearing the product, um, and, and things like that, but I realized I didn't want to be known as that makeup girl. And I was like, ah, oh. but you know, is there something about the nails? It's like, yeah, I totally want to be known as the nail girl. I'm like, dude, totally know me as the nail girl. I'm your nail girl. You know, that's, um, that's what I want to be known as, you know, <laughs> yeah, know me as the nail girl. Um, a lot of people know me as the camera girl too, the photographer. I'm like, that's okay to know me as, yeah. Um, so be consistent, be consistent posting wearing the nails, talking about it, sharing it, sharing uh, the Tuesdays, um, and, um, you know, that's, oh, you know, like Kelly's Power Hour check up, Checklist, that's a perfect way to stay consistent. Like, that has helped me to be consistent. I can't even tell you how ADD I am. Um, and I think a lot of the ADD has come because I, because from being a mom, okay, like hanging out with, um, with toddlers and little kids all day who are, are ADD themselves, um, has made me ADD. And so I get distracted. I'm like, Oh wait, no, no, no. Power hour. This is my power hour. You're going to do this. I'm, you know, check off, check off, check off. And I get it done. And it's been so super helpful. High five. <laughs> Kitty high five. Okay. Um, the next one is self-development, um, right here in the middle. And for me, that's been huge. I have, I can't even tell you if I, if there was nothing else that Color Street helped me with, it's my self-development. Um, by reading personal development books, I have grown so incredibly much. Um, and that's one thing, um, somebody asked, you know, like, um, one of the uh, power hour things is to uh, write about business blessings every single week. Um, and Thursdays is when I do that. Um, and I make sure that, um, you know, I, I, you know, every Thursday I'm talking about a business blessing and probably about 80% of my business blessing posts are the, are my growth and how much I've grown in this business, you know, not in this business, but in myself, you know, um, not, sorry. <laughs> get down off the table. <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, 
but uh, just, you know, you know, I've, I've read books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, uh, Girl, Wash Your Face. That was a huge one. That was an awesome one. I can't wait for her. Uh, Ra- that's by Rachel Hollis. Um, she's coming out with another book early this spring, like March. It's called Girl, Stop Apologizing. And boy, that hits home right there. Um, and, um, let's see, what are the other ones? Oh, um, I'll just look in my Audible. I am an Audible junkie, you guys. Like, I honestly spend about 50, like the last half of my day running around picking up kids. So I have found that Audible works perfect for me, okay? Because I'm in the van anyways, and I'm like, you guys are listening to this. I mean, I, I, there's a few that I have to worry about because of the language. Okay, so a lot of these are not because I got a new phone. So that's why. Um, the Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. That's a great one. Um, you Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. That one's a great one, but it's not language. So you can't watch you. Know, Watch out for if you have kids. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, High Performance Habits by Brendan Burchard. That one was a really good one. It really, <laughs> it was an eye opener to me because it was like, yeah, you're not as cool as you think you are. You're not as productive as you think you are. But here's what, here's how to become more productive. So that was really good. Girl, wash your face. Um, and then you are a badass at making money. That's a really good one as well. Um, think and grow with, think and grow rich for women. That was really cool. Like I, I, I kind of think I might need to read the real book rather than just the four women part, but it was pretty cool. Um, this one, uh, get over your damn self is whoops. No, don't start playing. <laughs> that one it was. Uh, it's directed towards direct sales. And so that one really helped me get into the whole mindset of direct sales. Uh, shoot, how do you get over it? Go out of it. Okay, right now I'm reading Body Love. Um, Three times. Okay, um, and, and this one is it's just living in balance, weighing what you want, for, and free yourself from food drama forever. I'm, I'm, I'm in the food drama group. Um, so, um, I'm really loving that one. So I love the fact that Kelly is so personal development oriented. That's, that's been huge, a huge growth for me. Um, and it was something that I wasn't real. I didn't realize that it was anything that I needed to work on. Um, but, oh, I'm so glad I have been working on it. So self-development is a huge plus and that is in our, um, in the power hour, there's like a little space. Did you do your development? 10 minutes a day. That's all you need, 10 minutes a day, which is really great because sometimes that's all we have, right? <laughs> um, and then, so you guys might, a lot of you might not understand what this is. Share Color Street by Color 10. Um, and I, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about that. Whoops. Okay. Okay. So in our in our uh, resources in the back. So when you log into the VO, um, up in the top right hand corner, this um, top right hand corner, there's a res- um, like uh, resources uh, tab. So you click on resources and you go into the resource list, and there's all these resources um, listed. There's graphics, there's um, our policies and procedures, um, there's links to the Vistaprint portal to get your business cards. I don't know if I've um, talked about that with Laura, and, um, but, um, but so you can get business cards through that and the resources and stuff. Also in there um, is a, a video that they showed us at conference last year called Color and what it is, and I kind of screenshotted, I screenshotted the, uh, the video. Um, and what it is, it's, so <laughs> they're cute little uh, things. So, sorry, I keep getting text. C is for connect, O is for offer, L is for listen, 
O is for objections and R is for recruit. Okay, so that's, you know, that's the little, what is it called? Not anagram, but alliteration, is that what it is? Yeah. Mnemonic. Yeah. Um, so, so for C, connect, um, and, and, you know, just be a friend, you know, uh, do, you know, hang out with people. <laughs> If you if you like, <laughs> I know that sometimes like my daughter should be like oh, I can't do anything. I can't even stand people. I hate people. You know she's fourteen. <laughs> you know I gotta get back to work. I don't think I'm having. I gotta okay, go. thanks for joining us, work. Erica. You can watch this later on the replay. Okay. Bye. Um, O is for offer. Offer those uh those two finger testers. They call them. Uh, corporate calls them two finger testers. I'm like twosies, baby. Um, so, and that's huge. And that's why, um, at the beginning of the month, I, I had given you all a, um, a paper, you know, with a bunch of twosies on them. And I wanted you guys to, and we we're doing that contest of, um, get 30 samples out to everybody, um, this month. Uh, listen, um, oh my gosh, this was super cool. So my, my son, speaking of getting samples out to everybody, um, I've been, you know, that's my, it's been my concentration this month, um, and, or one of them, <laughs> um, uh, and my son has been learning about the map. He's been super, like, geography heavy. This is my five-year-old. He's been <laughs> learning all the states, and I'm like, all right, go for it, <laughs> but he's obsessed with the map. And it was, so, it was so funny because I actually got to send out a sample from Maine. And I was, I was like, Ender, come here, look, I'm sending nails out to Maine. And he got so excited. It was just super funny. Tangent, sorry. ADD. <laughs> Alice for listen. Um, so, you know, keep your ears open for when you are hanging out with your friends, talking with your friends. If they mention like, oh gosh, these you know, this nail polish just chips, you know, be like, oh, there's a light bulb. There's your green flag raising up to be like, girl, I got something for you that's going to change your life. It's going to make your life so much better. Right. <laughs> um, or if, or if somebody's saying, I can't stand how this gel is, um, you know, ruining my nails, um, or discoloring them or whatever. Uh, one of my newest clients through photography she actually um w had ordered this amazon uh, gel kit uh, or a gel, gel kit through amazon and she was like right before our <laughs> right before our session she was like trying to take the gel off and her nails were so discolored and it was so funny because um i actually had um i had tinsel town on me in my, yeah. in my bag and i'm like girl i got you sit down I'm gonna do your nails and we sat there and I did her nails. She's like, girl, we, we don't have time for this. We, we only got like an hour session. And I'm like, we got time for this, it's okay. But she was so ecstatic um, about the fact that she could do it in 10 minutes, um, that they covered up the discoloration on her nails so she didn't have that in her, in her portraits. She was elated. And so she's been telling everybody about it. <laughs> so it's just so good. Um, so uh, the next one, so listen to people, keep your eyes and ears open um, because like, and that's what I love about these nails is that they are so, they're a game changer. Like I've always hated cleaning my nails, but I've always loved having cute nails. So it's like a catch 22 and Color Street completely like, it's the solution to the issue that we have. Does that make sense? It's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Some of these, you know, it's like, that's so great. Um, so if, you know, objections, clear up any objections. Oh, the, the next O is objections. If there's any objections, um, clear up any objections, you know, and that, that goes along with listening. Um, you know, if, if somebody is having issues with, I'm trying to think, um, like a lot of my customers haven't had a lot of issues with these, um, but I know that other stylists and talking with other stylists and helping them clear up issues uh, with their customers, sometimes um, people will, um, 
like when they take them off, uh, their nails are like flaking off or seem drier. Um, listen to those objections. And if so, you know, help them to come up with a solution. Um, instead of using the, and I don't think I have any out and open, but I've got, you know, um, instead of using alcohol prep pads, um, have them wash their hands with Dawn, like the blue Dawn soap, and that helps to get rid of the grease as well. Um, and it's a less, less harsh way than the alcohol prep pads. Um, so things like that, listen to objections. It's, it's all, all a part of customer service um, because these are our friends. Um, we, wanna, we, want, we want them to be happy as much as we are with these things, right? Um, and then recruit. Um, and so recruiting just it you know i've been able to like laura she's been she just joined us this past month and it's just been so fun first of all having you know a bunch of my friends like julia um she's my bestie and she's done everything with me for the past seven years um and so she did this too <laughs> and i did i do everything with her kind of thing and so it's been really fun having my friends do this with me and it's even better when we know that we are both like when we are all like uh, getting more out of life because of color street or whatever um you know having fun you know it's super fun i, I have so much fun doing manny parties uh doing girls nights um things like that i absolutely love this <laughs> this is like my favorite part of the biz because i'm like such an extrovert and i'm like i need friends gotta have a party <laughs> so i that's like my favorite part of the biz is having those girls nights and so that's why i like to do a lot of in-home parties is because i need to, to to connect with people um so and recruiting has also helped you know like um you know as far as you know um sorry there's a I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's a loud, I guess we're on a, a flight path or something. That was a, uh, for life flight. Um, we hardly ever get um, helicopters flying over, but I think we're on the life flight path, uh, which I'm just like, okay, say a little prayer for whoever's in there. Um, but um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, but yeah, so Color 10 is uh, a program. Oh, sorry. I will, I will be posting this link um, to this video so that it's easy for you guys to, um, to access and to watch. Um, it's, a, it's just a short, like five minute video. I can't remember exactly how long, um, but it's a great thing. Um, the girl who is a, uh, above uh, Kelly, the girl who recruited Kelly, Mary, um, has an, I'm trying to remember her team name, but I can't. But she really focuses on color 10. Um, but she's, she's really cute and sweet and everything like that. Um, which brings me to another point um, as far as those who are trying to uh, uh, rank up, rank advance, and everything like that. Um, we have... Um, we have such an amazing team and I absolutely love the spirit that 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 we have as far as like supportive and loving and kind I love that we have like virtually no drama at least I'm not saying it <laughs> so good job keeping that for me <laughs> keep it up <laughs> no I'm just kidding um, no but um I love that we don't have any drama that we're all super supportive that we oh oh that was the other thing that I really loved um, in, in the, uh, the formula for success. Okay. Celebrate your successes. Okay. This is, uh, you know, I, I want you guys to celebrate your successes. I want to see, I want you guys to tell us about your successes and, and I'm going to start doing what Kelly does and do like a success Saturday. Um, so that every Saturday you can tell us, Hey, what's going on in your life so we can celebrate with you. Cause I absolutely love, you know, that we have this supportive team. Um, and, and it's kind of fun that way. Um, but, uh, with, you know, with this team culture, that's so supportive and, 
and unity minded. Um, I, I do want to let you guys know that if you guys are trying to rake advance and climb up, um, that I just want you to know it doesn't matter where you are at in the ladder. Okay? Completely put the ladder away and just be like, this is not even important. Because I will tell you this, that Kelly is not the first one, like at the first, you know, she is under Mary, who is under Cody, who is under CJ Summers, you know, <laughs> things like that. So she, Kelly is not the top, you know, at the top, but she has, you know, through her, um, cat, <laughs> um, through her, you know, just business minded. She, and the other thing, um, is that, um, and this is all those for who, you know, like me, I tend to, uh, what's the word compare, um, my journey to somebody else's journey. And I've been really good about that lately. I haven't been doing that as much, <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, but, uh, so I definitely highly suggest you do more of that is not to compare your journey with somebody else's journey. Um, because I see, you know, sometimes I'll be like, oh man, Kelly is rocking it, you know, and I forget and I have to remind myself that Kelly has been in direct sales and you know the network marketing uh, world for 10 years 10 years like she's been doing all this for 10 years that's why she has such a huge following that's why she has she knows what to do <laughs> and I'm like uh, 18 months two years in in the biz okay so it's been said before by so many people you cannot compare your beginning with somebody else's middle story. Does that make sense? I don't oh know if I said that right, <laughs> but you get it. <laughs> um, so, um, oh, the other, the other person I wanted to let you guys know, Rachel Hoover is um, nearing um, national, whatever, national director, um, but she is four levels under Kelly. So it does not matter. Um, Oh, great. They removed my 40 minute time limit. Thank you. Even though I was almost done, but I love it. Thanks. <laughs> um, anyways, so um, now that just threw me off, but so it doesn't matter where we are at in the ladder. Okay. Um, just make your climb your own. Okay. Um, so um, there was one more thing that I wanted to talk about and then I was done. I can't remember what that was. Oh, because of the brave is going to go on, on order soon. So, um, yeah, because of the brave, that's pretty awesome. Um, we have what three days left to BQ. Awesome. That's gonna, you know, um, I mean, Oh, Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Kelly is going to be doing, um, the BQ boot camps. She always does in the last three days of the month. So I wanted to kind of just kind of remind you guys about that. If you guys are trying to BQ and you're out of ideas or whatever, um, help is on the way. There, there's lots of different ideas that you can do to BQ um, and to, to hit those goals that you've set. Um, but yeah, so I hope this has been informative and thank you guys for joining me um Moving up yet becca i wanted to ask you yeah. you know um you do a lot of in-home parties but tell us how you book your party do you do it all through facebook or just friends referring friends i know when i was in another direct sales i booked it now, um, but i also had a bigger community of people that i knew before so not knowing that many people I don't know. Does that make sense? How do you book your party? Um, well, one, uh, so what I usually do um, is I, I post about it in my VIP group and I do uh, host, hostess incentives. Um, there is, I'm trying to remember what it's called now. I don't remember, but I got these really cool, you know, like brush cleaning egg, um, nail clips, you know, so I'll do, you know, I'll do 
Oh, or a bag or whatever. I'll, I'll post that link if I can find it again. Um, it's this really cool website where everything's a dollar. Um, zip, like canvas bags, um, these things, like, whoa, I didn't know it was open. <laughs> um, that's really, it's very handy. It's like for makeup brushes and stuff. It has nothing to do with nails, but um, I thought that was super cool. I got myself one, and I've been using it. Um, and you know, just like, cause I, I don't want it to be, um, or sometimes, you know, I'll give the, uh, the glass away or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I'll give, I'll, I'll say, Hey, if you host a party, um, this is, you know, what you can get, um, this month I'm doing, because I got Love that, um, yeah. <laughs> one of these, um, the infinity love, um, anybody who hosts a party January and February gets their name in a drawing to win this. Yeah. So, um, when you have special, you know, unicorn sets like that, you can do that. Um, and then the other thing, like the other thing that has helped me to book them is that I, I, I take pictures of my Manny parties, um, and then post them and everybody's, you know, I've, I've actually booked a lot that way. Um, they yeah. see how much fun we're having. They see what we're doing and they're like, I want, I want to have a girl's night. Like the goal is to book more parties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. That's a, it's a super fun, it's the way, I mean, that's, you know, in the beginning, that's uh, what, what we learned is that the more parties you have, um, you know, it, number one, it grows your network because you've got your friend here who hosts a party and they invite their five friends or 40 friends, <laughs> you know, and so that way you can all, you're, all of a sudden you're patching into their network as well that you didn't have before. Um, support is seriously important. Um, you know, and, and getting the word out about Color Street will help. You you um, so I post pictures of, you know, and I, I have like uh, last week I actually had um, a friend, it was actually Nate's cousin, um, who came and visited us and my conversation. Becca should show you the nails. Okay, I can do that, you know. Sure. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so I showed her the nails, I gave her a thing, and she's like, These are amazing. How did I not know about these? I was like, Oh, your friends don't know about them. Let's tell them now, you know. So she actually had a girls' night in home too, and I sent her everything, you know. I sent her little packets of and stuff like that, um, so that she could have a girls' night. She gave them out, and she I, everybody loved them. Obviously, <laughs> they're pretty awesome. Um, and so she took pictures, and she hasn't sent them to me yet, but <laughs> I'm like. Hey, can I get those pictures? Yeah. <laughs> because I'm hoping that showing her pictures will, you know, motivate somebody else to have a party of their own. Yeah. Um, and so, in hostess incentives on top of what they will be getting as rewards, um, you know, just showing how much they, you know, how much fun they can have during, you know, especially an in-home party. Um, it's a little hard showing that when it's a it's an online party because it's like yeah. take a picture of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> um, but um, I'll think about that and I'll kind of I'll, I'll maybe we'll make a post and, and get everybody's ideas about because yeah. you all are amazing <laughs> rock stars. Like I'm like learning. I learned so much from you guys. Um, it, I, I'm like, Ooh, that's a cool idea. I'm going to try that. You know, all about the team. The, yeah. It's a team, team effort. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll make a post and we'll get everybody's, um, information in there. I, I kind of wish more people were active in the group. Sorry. I'm like, <laughs> the cat's hair is like floating by me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, um, but yeah, or maybe I'll do it in the chat because people seem to be, be a little bit more active. <laughs> Laura keeps going in and out <laughs> her video. <laughs> She's on. Sorry. Now, so we're excited that she, she came and keeping Albuquerque street safe. Right, girl. 
<laughs> hey, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, all those people warming up their cars, huh? Oh, my gosh. Yes, of course, I had another one of those this morning. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I yep. saw that on really? Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, um, can you tell I'm getting a little annoyed with people continuing to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, the Albuquerque, I, I follow the Albuquerque Police Department, and they're like, please, we really, 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 really need you to stop warming up your cars and leaving them. And leaving them unattended. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so funny. Anyways, um, I'm going to head off to pick up my boy from kindergarten. Um, I miss seeing you over there, Reed. <laughs> I know. It's so weird switching him to afternoon, but it's been so much better. That was, so much that's, better. That was good. <laughs> For him and me. <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure how I'm going to um, handle next year with yeah. Two in junior high waking up at 7.30. Yeah. I mean, no, we need to leave at 7.30, so we need to wake up at 6.30. We've got to leave before that. Doesn't school start like at 7.20 or 7.25? No. Like, my kids are out the door by like, oh, maybe it's 7.35. My kids yeah, are it's at 7.35, 25. but we're just down yeah. the road, so. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Fun stuff. I'm not a morning person. I put mine on independent. Like, I'm not a morning person either. So they all have their own alarm clock. They all know what to do. They know how to get to school. And if they don't get there, shame on them. <laughs> I'm the worst mom ever. No, no, that's so good. Like, we we don't live as close to the junior yeah. high as you do to yours. So we're just like, oh, I got to drive them. And yeah, because we're out, of, yeah, we're out of area, so the bus won't pick them up. Oh, yeah. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. There's Charlie. He needs to get ready for school. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is. All right. Ender's mom. Do you know that? He's silly. Anyways, <laughs> I need to get you your banner back too. So I will meet up with you sometime. Cool. I have it so sitting here. Right <laughs> well, awesome. Thanks so much for, yeah. for joining with us. I don't know how to stop this recording. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys.